Hello, I am in Bogota, Colombia, and uh, to celebrate our international issue, we are going today to El Chato, which was ranked recently the 25th best restaurant in the world. Uh, we're going to meet the chef, Chef Alvaro, and uh, try some really amazing food. So let's give it a shot. We got, we got a lot of technique, but we don't overpower the, we don't want to show like in through an ego as a chef. I call the techniques that I can apply into an ingredient. I want to, I want to keep it like as simple, as simple as it can and show the ingredient without not being a foam, not being like a, like a spuma or whatever, because I, I don't like those things. I want people to see the ingredients. I want people to know no more than three or four ingredients per dish. People understand what there's in, what there's in their mouth. And um, I think like, Last a couple of years of this restaurant, we have been like in this point that we are like so proud and my team is like doing so well. We are united and we are connected like pastry, um, bar, waiters. But like we are in a great point, you know, like in the maturity that we have right now, it's amazing. Innovative. Perfect is impossible, because if you go perfect, you are lost, I guess. I mean, I don't know anyone that it is, but I used to be like super hard on people. Um, but I realized that, I mean, if you, when I, at some point like I start to like fire everyone, like just one mistake, you fire. But I realized that it doesn't make any sense. Like if you start to believe in people and start to teach them between, there's a huge difference to be a leader or being a boss, you know, like if you're a good leader, you need, how, you, you, you learn how to rely on your team and learn from them too. But I, I studied in Spain, I worked in Paris, um, and lived in New York, so... But I, when I came to a, to, to a three-star in, in New York, Thomas Keller made me feel that I didn't know anything about food, about service, about how to work, because the U.S. two, three stars are like military, you know, like, like you guys in the army, it's like, it's like so tough, you know, like, um, you have so much information about utensils, ingredients, the way they work, the way they behave, you know, so... It made me, they gave me a lot of discipline. With the war in Colombia, is that you, we didn't have a lot of access to certain ingredients. We still like, I mean, as long as we have illegal drugs, war is gonna always gonna, was gonna keep going on. You know, like, uh, very hard to, be, uh, to, uh, to get to certain parts of the country where, where you can find an amazing ingredient. What I did is that I had, a, I always ride a motorcycle, you're gonna see it when you go outside. So I took like a backpack and I went like all over, like trying to research for ingredients that it was that were like so interesting to work with. So I did almost all the country by motorcycle, uh, just by my own, like almost six months just like going around. You go to a market and it's amazing things here, but I mean, it's more than that. Um, and I knew there were, there were more than that. So when I so when I have to, when I go home like 1 a.m. after like leaving this restaurant, I used to sleep like three four hours per day because I the only creative part of my day was when I get home. I put my head in the pillow and it was like I mean my my brain starts to work on dishes and ideas. So I used to like have like a bunch of books right into my like in my drawer and I start to read them at like 2 a.m. and I realized it was like 5 a.m. So I have to take my daughter to school, to school, so I was not sleeping. So, so I like try to take like more time, like more off of this restaurant and be in my house at like, certain times of the day yeah. to be able to be more creative. I'm, I just became like two weeks ago, 39 years old, and uh, and I I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just like having fun, and as long as we have fun, we're gonna keep going, you know. Well, Colombia and Bogota, it's in a, it's in a, in an amazing time and spotlight for food, you know, like, I mean, tourism, it's like, I mean, people, they should not be afraid anymore to come, like, um, 
I've heard a lot of people they they, they, they might feel like they like that they might feel like insecurity about coming to the country, but I mean that's something that they have to like let go. But with that, it's an amazing city that I have to we have to offer like so many things. Like as you were saying, restaurants in a culture with museums are amazing. I mean there's like a lot of things going on in Bogota. So don't be afraid anymore and come to listen. It's amazing. Nothing. I only I only I only have lunch. Uh, coffee. Always coffee. Always coffee.